Hi, I'm Mary Lee LeBay, and I'm a hypnotherapist, past life regressionist, and I've been an instructor of these topics for a couple of decades, um, both at the university level and privately. And I want to talk to you today about the spiritual applications of hypnotherapy. If you've been meditating, um, you're going to love this. <laughs> so, uh, but a lot of people struggle with meditation. Do you? Do you struggle with meditation? Um, and sometimes we can be effective and sometimes our mind is a little scattered and maybe our meditations aren't quite as, as deep and wonderful as we'd like. But if you do some hypnotherapy, um, because the hypnotherapy and meditation are very, very similar. Meditation, you go in, you center and ground, you focus your mind, you open up, and um, you know maybe there's some things that you want to think about, but for the most part, you're open and receptive and clearing your mind, okay? And uh, very, very powerful. And oftentimes there's realizations or messages from the higher self or from your own self, maybe precognition, that sort of thing, that um, it, it come to you while you're meditating. So the difference with hypnotherapy is that through voice, through a guided introduction or induction, you're actually guided into those deeper levels. So right away, following the instructions, you're, you're guided to focus your mind, to relax your body, and to begin to make that connection with the subconscious mind. And then the way that I do hypnotherapy um, it also starts out with a lot of imagination. So one of the important pieces of it is to connect the right and left hemispheres. So the left analytical mind is in charge and, you know, we're, you know, taking care of finances and going to work and taking care of the kids and paying our bills. And when we meditate, we're trying to get over here to the right side or if we're doing artwork or some creative writing, something like that, we're trying to get over here to that right side. Um, and so right away in the hypnotic induction, the way that I do it, um, we're making that connection. We're, we're actually trying to focus a little more on that right side and go into that creativity. We go into a safe space. We get a gift um, that is so beautiful, and magical, and powerful, um, and we can we can um, you know bring that into our experience, and then from there you could actually do your meditation. So if you use that induction to begin with, um, if you learn that languaging and and can guide yourself in which would really be called self-hypnosis. You could do self-hypnosis and guide yourself right into that meditative state. And you'd be deeper and more focused and your right brain would be activated and connected in a little better. So using this uh, technique or using the, the techniques of hypnotherapy to enhance your meditation is going to be extremely powerful. So I invite you to try it out. So have a great meditation. So let's try it. So in the next few minutes, I'm just going to guide you into a meditative state and be sure you're not driving or operating heavy equipment. Make sure you're in a quiet room, turn off the phone, all of that, um, and just someplace where you won't be disturbed for a few minutes like you would do in a meditation. I'm just going to guide you into the meditation and then I'm going to let you go. Okay, so then you would just continue meditating until you're finished. And when you're finished, you can just open your eyes and be done just like you would in any meditation. So if you're ready, find a comfortable place to be seated. And as you relax, Let's take a nice deep breath in and out, releasing any tension in your body and closing your eyes when you're ready. And taking another deep breath in and again, relaxing even deeper. 
and begin to focus on that still point deep within you and allow your energies to become calm like a still pool of water and just allowing yourself to relax, focusing on that still pool. And as you continue to relax deeper and deeper throughout this meditation, I invite you to begin by imagining your favorite safe space, a place of relaxation, protection and connection. It may be a place that you have visited in this lifetime or a place that you go to in, this, in your imagination that allows you to feel free to be yourself. And as you find yourself in your safe space now, just explore it with the curiosity of a child. What is there? What is this environment like? How do you feel when you're there in this safe space? Notice anything else about being there. And as you look around, you discover that there is a gift that has been left there for you, a gift of empowerment that will bring you certain traits and characteristics that will be so valuable for you at this time in your life and for the sake of this meditation. And so as you look around in your vicinity, you realize there is this gift there, this object. And when you find it, you take it into your hands. And as you do so, you feel the weight of it and the size and the texture. And you look at it and you see the color. And what is this? What is this object? It can be something very mundane like a stick, a shell, a rock or it can be very magical, like a wand or a rainbow or um, Kuan Yin or whatever. People get all sorts of gifts. And so what is this one for you? And don't try to second guess it. Just allow it to come to you. Just the first thing you think of. Because your higher self knows better and it knows exactly what you need. And so receiving this gift, you hold it in your hands and just notice what the energy is. Notice what energy it brings to you. How does it affect you? Is there a message that this gift brings to you? And how would you use this gift in your life? If this was like a Harry Potter magical tool and it had these special energies and traits, when would you use that in your everyday life? And so now holding this gift and finding a place to be relaxed there in your safe space. And you settle into a meditation, holding this gift, and you begin to meditate, calling upon all the lifetimes, all the memories that you have of doing deep, deep meditations and allowing your brain waves to synchronize in that pattern again now. And throughout your session, 
you'll be able to go deeper and deeper into meditation. And I will leave you here and you can meditate as long as you wish. And when you finish, you can simply open your eyes and reorient to your everyday life. Namaste.